AG Labs, my name is Ben. Hello, good morning. Welcome to the micro soldering show. And today in the morning, I just want to do again with you an iPhone 11 Pro. Because yesterday in the long video where I did it the first time, I just uh, told you that there are other possibilities um, for doing the reball and um, for doing the CPU reball. Because I never worked um, with stencils like this before, they are very, very thin. So if you compare it to the Kian Lee, you hear the sound. This is the sound of a Kian Lee. This is the sound of a of a real life, and it's just much more thinner. So um, the reball is just more difficult. More, uh, it, it's harder than to do on a on a more hard stencil. So I want to do this again with you. And I want to do the reball with you again um, just by using preheat because at the moment I only have this Miching stencil um, for doing the reball on the iPhone X uh, on the iPhone 11 board so or 11 Pro board. So I just want um, to do that with you again, um, speed a little bit up and just doing something uh, different, okay? And because yesterday. Um, it just took a long time and it was not perfect in my opinion. Um, I, didn't, uh, I didn't do it again, so it's the second time I work on this board. And we now just want to see if that works better. Um, we start with the CPU reball. I already took off the CPU. I just want to show that to you, how it looks like. So on hands. What you see here is one time the bottom layer board, the top layer board and the CPU. Okay? So I got this real life stencil. It's the only stencil you get at the moment in the market. I got it from Rexcom and the Mijing Z15 um, I got from Rexcom too. So these are the only things which are available at the moment or um, which we can get at the moment because China is, is closed. Um, because of the epidemic situation and I think it will last longer than only the 10th of, um, of the month. I think that the whole month will be, cl uh, will be closed. So we have to wait a long time for, for goods from China. Um, we hope they, um, they will uh, well again soon, okay? So, so they get healthy again soon. So here you can see the CPU. That's the CPU. A13. So we take the stencil. What I like on the stencil is that it's no 3D, but you see the molds in here, so you can use it like a 3D because you go straight to the caps and then you can just use it like a 3D. What I don't like is the color. So if you compare it to a gold one, you see it's much more better for the eyes and it's very thin, so the reball is more complicated. Then with uh, then with another stencil. Okay, so I just go to my reball temperature, and I hope that the reball this time works better than the last time, because I felt like like somebody who has never did before reball on a CPU. It it just it just felt not good. get in the pace it's 183 ppd 183 I don't use much pressure on uh, getting in the pace because CPUs don't like much pressure then I use a wipe to clean and then I use my tweezers and normally if I work with other stencils I use 
normal tweezers. In this case, I tried to do it with these ceramic tweezers. I got it from Braxcom 2. So now, I just want to have a look if that works better than yesterday. Heat up the stencil very softly. And you see it bends again. I'm at a totally normal reboil temperature. So I want to use another tweezer for that. So that's my normal tweezer. I always use on reboils. And you see this looks better. And you see it's corresponding to so many things if you do these reboils. So I think other people just have other techniques, but I worked on my CPU techniques such a long time. So I always need to use my techniques for doing things like that. Perhaps some others do it in another way or do it better. But I have to see and to use my technique. We're just getting perfect results and this looks much better than yesterday really but I have to use like you saw my tweezer little things are making a difference in some cases just waiting a short time and you see that one ball here just not wanted to sit down I just give it a little kick and blast it by using the hot air and it's connected. Okay, so this really looks much better. Normally, if I use the other stencil, now I just get in some flux and reflow. But here I saw that already all the balls are well connected. So I think that looks pretty much better than yesterday. And a big advantage of the stencil is, so if Kian Li or some other watch this video, why don't you do a stencil like that? Or oh, I showed a stencil like that and do it like here with the molds. So could be the perfect stencil by using the gold color, your material Kianli, and the molds from the real life. Perhaps a joint venture? I don't know. Then we just use a little small amount of flux. Wait until the flux melts and goes to all the areas. Now we can see it's just a quick reflow. Let them both reset. And I think now we have a really perfect reboot CPU. Yesterday I, I wasn't I wasn't I, d I didn't agree with the with the result. I wasn't satisfied 100%, so I just wanted to do it again with you today. So in this case, we could clean it too, just for showing you. Normally, I would uh, let the flux stay on the CPU now and just get it to the board. But because I want to see, to show you the work and the result of the work, I just clean it to get the flux away so you can see the bolts perhaps a little bit better. with a wipe on it we got a little bit of dirt just take the air the air for cleaning that
and you see every ball like the other no problems I think that's a perfect result and now we just try to get a good reball for the board so we get the board in here you see I already cleaned that then the stencil on it and now we use paste getting the paste into the stencil by the way now you get every day a German video again I just reactivated Andy for doing the German videos and I do the international ones I hope you like that Andy is really a, a great technician and I think he does he does a great job in doing videos so just check his videos give him some th up he really he really likes if you like it okay he's happy with your feedback or about your feedback okay we do it in that way and now what we do now is just getting the microscope a little bit more up and we take a preheater And we just put the board or the complete um, the complete stencil on the preheater and we're just waiting if something will happen we have to wait a short time for that because the heat has to come to the to the whole to the whole form and to the stencil and then we just wait until the solder melts perhaps I can use another set up for heating up a little bit more so now we just have to wait I just get some clothes to take the stencil away if uh, we are finished Okay, I don't know where the clothes are. And we are waiting. Let's see here. For that area, there already is melting the flux out of the paste here you can see it so we get some temperature in it yeah something has happened and can you see that the balls are coming baby Here, beautiful. Beautiful. And I think this worked. Okay, put off the preheater. And now it's really heavy for me to take off this. Okay, get it off and just stop heating.
so I have to move the mouse and we can go straight on hands so the, the reball is perfect, the reball of the CPU is perfect, the reball of the board is perfect and it's about 15 minutes so you see we just um, like I said yesterday if you if you work on your steps and you do it just w in another way and a little bit better or a little bit on an, on another way it's hard for me in english so if you just if you use another way you have to to search in your head for a solution and then thinking about how i can do this in a better way and that's what i did here i just thought okay um i I have to do it in another way with this stencil or with these stencils I have to work with a little bit more feeling because I can't go the, f the really fast way like I do on using my stencils I use every day the Kian Lee's the gold ones I'm so fast by using them because I know exactly the material I know how it reacts I know how it uh, how it bends if I come too near and things like that and here on, on this stencil I just didn't know anything about that so it's just another material it's a good stencil but it's silver it's another game for my eyes so I I just needed to search another way and today or tonight I just thought about it really I I wake today at night about 3 p uh, 3 a.m. should be a.m. at night I don't know <laughs> Um, and I just thought about how I can do it better and then I thought okay by using these stencils I have to do it with a little bit more feeling I want to try today in the morning and the same for the board reball by using this stencil I can't do it like like on um, on my other Kian Lee stencil here for the X here I can go on fast with hot air nothing bends it's just uh, just a fast thing here this stencil bends directly if I get a little bit of hot air on it so I don't want to use low melt solder because I don't like that because the boards can break later and you can get cold solder joints so I have to do it by using preheat and yesterday I didn't find the, um, the power cable for my ivory work and I didn't use it for a long time but um, for using this stencil the ivory work works perfectly so let's have a look it's hot it's hot it's hot it's hot and I just want to to lose the stencil so I have to take my brush and get a little bit of contact cleaner in it after that I can just lose the board that's always the same game so we have no bolts sticking at the stencil like you see that's all okay if I had some cloves some heat cloves it would be no problem because the whole stencil was really getting hot so now we can just clean here you can't even use a high melt solder here you can, you can use 183 that's no problem by using preheat but you can't use a 217 or things like that because then you have to heat up the board so hard that all the the ICs on, ICs on the board swim away and if they are underfilled you get problems with cold solder joints and that wouldn't be nice but I'm a fan if I do the sandwich boards by only using hot air and I can tell you exactly why it's because by using preheat I heat up the whole board in the middle area and I don't like that so if I use hot air perhaps it's more work and I need a little bit more of time but I prevent heat damages 
on the bottom layer board itself okay but here you can see it's really just perfect what we can do now what, or what we could do now is just a little reflow just a little reflow without using the stencil just a quick reflow So control if we got all the balls. So I see that we here and here have no ball, but that's the only two points. So we can do now a fast reflow. And sitting these two balls by hand. Not a problem. But you saw it really worked much better than yesterday. Much faster. And no problems so for me I love these sandwich boards at all because it's just a new way of repairs you have to use your head you can't do it like all the other repairs it's just a new just a complete new thing and if you if you find a way for you to do these sandwich boards it just brings you a lot of fun it's really funny to see new repairs on new boards. Just a little bit more of airflow for going faster. Let all the bolts reset, it's just like CPU rebore. All the bolts reset. Okay, and now you know my, my technique if a ball is missing. I just take it from here, get it onto the board on the right point. Just too small this one, this one looks much better. Oh, it's a small too. Yeah, we are not on a CPU. We are just on a on the top layer board. So I think this should be cool. This should be cool. Yeah. And a smaller one for here. Have a close look. And you see, perfect. That's the way to fix a problem like this, only that point. take a small amount away so all the balls have the same amount okay perfect balls everywhere there were only only two and a half ball missing out of our automatic preheater rebore, I call it automatic preheater rebore. So everybody can do this in the automatic preheater module um, rebore, automatic preheater module, automatic preheater rebore. So even for the people who can't do it by using hot air, it's not a problem. You can do it like that. And. This is all. Video done.
I think I, I don't need to to resolder the CPU now. Or I can do it too, it's not a problem. If you want to see, I can do it. And by the way, we start streaming today or tomorrow on Twitch. So give me some comments if you like that. I will do an announcement on Instagram too. So you can see our workshop the whole day here in the company live on Twitch. Yeah, nice. I really like that now. Do you see that? Perfect Reball iPhone 11 Pro logic board. Perfect. All bolts, same size. Very clean work. And we have a nice CPU too. Do it in that way. We have a nice CPU too. All the bolts, perfect. Great. Here at one corner, I just covered a little bit by using UV. There was no crack, all is okay. But you saw the surface was scratched a little bit from coming in with the tool. It was the first time on the CPU. Um, but that's all okay. CPU will work fine. Now for me, I just have to, to get an iPhone 11 Pro screen. And then we will do the next video for the iPhone 11 Pro with using screen and with sh showing you um, separating, um, taking out CPU, reballing CPU, reball the board, getting back all together and, um, uh, and um, getting the phone started then. So, do you want to see? We have 27 minutes. Fast job. Do you want to see? how I resolder perhaps we can do that too so I just want to take some nice pictures for the A13 Okay, did some nice pictures, so now we can just, if you like, solder back the CPU to the board. That's not a big thing. So we get the board into into the holder. So we have no flux on the CPU now, so we just get some flux on the board. After we got some flux on the board, we just place the CPU, A13. And then we just... Oh, I want to do, sorry, but I want to do one more picture without CPU it's all about pictures today in the morning but I don't know if I got much time for Instagram today so I want just to do some pictures now for using them in the story okay and again heating up the board Taking flux. Get it in. Mm. 
taking the CPU, place it Looks good, I think. Taking the right temperature for soldering down. And solder it down. See, it sits perfectly. Flux came out at the sides. CPU comes back if we just give it a little kick. And we are done. Small board, fast work because it heats up fast. Okay, CPU sitting. And we have perfect result for the A13. Perhaps we can have a look into the, here at the sides, you can see it great. You see the walls? Amazing. Done. CPU is back to the board. If you want to resolder the top layer to the bottom layer now, it's not a problem by using some preheat and some hot air. I showed that to you several times on the X um, and I will show that to you at the next video if I got a screen for the iPhone 11 Pro so I can show you the phone boots and works fully, okay? I hope you liked the video. Anyway, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe the channel. That's a pleasure for me if you subscribe my channel really because I do that because I love it and I do that for getting you a subscriber, okay? Um, and if you want to learn things like that, you can do that at the Bottle Up Repair School Germany or at our one-on-one -on -one courses. Just message me for more information. We can do an English course too. You can uh, fly here two days, three days, and we can do, um, we can do expert um, level one-on-one, um, -on -one, no problem. Just give me some messages. If you are working at a repair industry for smartphones and tablets, I would be happy to see you at our Facebook group, Smartphone Repair Group Germany. But please answer the questions, otherwise we can't accept you. You have to work at a smartphone repair industry, no private persons, sorry. Okay, and the next thing, uh, thing is order our ICC Pro. I would be really happy about that because we invested a lot of head and heart um, to get that product ready for the market, okay? I'm out, we see you with the next video. Boom, back to life again. Here's Ben.